So ladies and gentlemen, we've got a reunion from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, the original cast. And everybody's gonna be here except for um, Mr. Avery, who is dead, and uh, mm. Miss Herbert, whose face is X'd out, because they're gonna replace her with this lady right here, Daphne Maxwell Reed. And the only beef I got about that is when you think of that show, it's very hard to think of Daphne Maxwell Reed. Now, let me give you the backdrop. The reunion is supposed to happen around Thanksgiving this year to celebrate 30 years of the 30, the 30 year anniversary of the show. Now, for mm. those of you that don't know, the original Ant Vibe had a fallout. She started wigging out and she kind of, some people want to say she went crazy. And some people say she has valid arguments because she fell out with Will Smith. Take a little bit mm. of a look at what some of the craziness she had to say. Then we'll finish discussing the reunion and should they have it invited her or left her out. I want to say something about um, Jada Pinkett Smith asking other actors, black black actors and actresses to boycott the Oscars. Uh, first of all, Miss Thing, um, does your man not have a mouth of his own with which to speak? And the second thing is, girlfriend, there's a lot of shit going on in the world that you all don't <laughs> seem to recognize people are dying our boys are being shot left and right uh, people are hungry people are starving people are trying to pay bills and you talk about some motherfucking actors uh in oscars and it, it just ain't that deep and here's the other thing for you to ask other actors and other black actresses and black uh, actors to jeopardize their career and they're standing in a town that you know damn well. You don't do that. And here's the other thing. They don't care. They don't care. And I find it ironic that somebody who has made their living, made their living and made millions and millions of dollars um, from the very people that you're talking about boycotting just because you didn't get a nomination, just because you didn't win. That is not the way life works, baby. OK, and it it's very suspect to me. And I seem to recall hmm, 20, maybe six, seven years ago, 25, whatever it was. What what? Look, I don't even remember. But I seem to remember at option time coming to you and saying, you know, what, Will, you're the star of the show. Why don't we all get together? And with you, maybe we could get a little raise. Maybe the network, since, you know, the show is such a hit and you being the star of the show, your influence would help us greatly, like they did on Friends, like white shows do. Remember that? Do you remember that? Because <laughs> I do. Mm. And your response to me was, my deal is my deal, and y'all deal is y'all deal. Well, karma must be a bitch, because mm. now here you are. Here you are, you've had a few flops. And you know... There are those out there who really deserved a nod, and Idris Elba was one of them. Lord have mercy. Beast of No Nation was incredible. That man is an incredible actor. You are not, maybe you didn't deserve uh, a nomination. <laughs> mm. well, ladies and gentlemen, she to this day still holds Will Smith responsible for her getting kicked off. And um, you can go back and read the history. It could go either way. Because Will Smith did have a lot of sway with the network because he did take that show to being the number one show on the network for a long time. And when they just got rid of her, some of us never got fully invested in the new Antville. Trisha C. was just in the comments talking about that dance scene that was probably one of the most iconic scenes in the show. She put the damn dance on them white chicks, then she snapped that finger on them. And from that point, since they separated, Aunt Vibe, Julie, Mrs. Herbert, has put out all these videos that have just been very inflammatory, sour grapes, and you're talking 25 years later. And y'all know when a black person is upset and they get to going <laughs> in their in they arguments, boy, they hot. You digging into yeah. their soul. And so she's never let that go. Will Smith is in a greater power position, so it's easy for him to blow it off. But in the reunion, she's not invited. Everybody else is coming. My first TV crush, Tatiana Ali, is going to be there. Larry, should they have invited the original Aunt Vibe, 
let bygones be bygones or is it too far gone? And are you going to watch the reunion special that is going to be on HBO Max? Um, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'll probably watch it. I don't know. If I see it, I'll, I'll see it. It's not like it's going to be on my list of must must watch things. But mm -hmm. they should have invited her. I mean, the reality of it is when they made that switch, when they brought when they let when they when they uh, took the old aunt, you know, old aunt Viv out and put the new one in there, they made a joke of they made a joke. It was like, mm -hmm. oh, you look different or something. It was sort of like they were poking fun at themselves for making such an abrupt switch because they went from an aunt Viv that was that was very thin and dark skinned to another aunt Viv that was sort of. She wasn't as thin. She was a little bit thicker, not fat. She was a little bit thicker, and she was very fair-skinned. And so I kind of feel like when they made such an abrupt change and then they made a joke poke, you know, made a joke poke and then, you know, poking at themselves over it, I feel like you should bring back the, the old Aunt Viv and do the same thing. Poke, poke another joke. Just like maybe you start off with the original or with the replaced Aunt Viv, and then like halfway through this through the episode, you switch them out. <laughs> and people who watch the show that are fans of the show will know what's going on and find it hilarious. Yeah, and, you know? and the thing and the thing is, Larry, the the new Aunt Viv never on that show. I, I I didn't watch much of her other shows, but the new Aunt Viv, Daphne Maxwell Reed, she wasn't she didn't fit the role as well as the original Aunt Viv. Most of us, when we think of Fresh Prince, we don't think of her. We think of the no. show being good with the original. Aunt Vi, who was a multi-talented actress, dancer, singer, and mm -hmm. we associate her in that role, and I think that she did a better job in that role than Daphne Maxwell Reed did. So I'm with you. If you're going to have a reunion show, you, yeah, know, well, you know what would be hilarious is if they did something where they're on the show. Maybe Aunt Viv is is going out to the car or going out to shop or something. And then when she comes back, it's the old Aunt Viv. Yeah. And and she's like, hey, I'm back. And everyone starts clapping and whatever else. And it's just sort of a it's sort of a goof because it's like she's yeah. gone. And then she walks to the door and says, Hey, I'm back. And everybody's like, Aunt Viv is back. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And, and yep. it, I mean, it could even, they could even have fun with Will Smith, you know, because people know there's some tension there. He could even make there could even be some fun joke with it where he's like, but she just left. Who cares? You know, why yeah. everybody else is excited that she's back. So I mean, you, you could you could go five different directions to make that a very good setup, Larry. You could poke fun at it. You can enjoy the moments. I think Will Smith should be swallowing his pride right now. And at least trying to communicate with her to just say, hey, let's yeah. put the tensions away. You come on up here. Maybe we clear the air a little bit without getting into too many details. And we just enjoy something that was an iconic history making show that introduced right. more black culture to the world. You know, this right. that was a groundbreaking show. And I, I right. just think that in the times we're living in right now, Make bygones be bygones. Bring her back, kumbaya. Um, and and that show Phil was groundbreaking in a lot of ways. It was because, very groundbreaking because one of the things that it did was there was a lot of people that grew up with there. There was a lot of there's a lot of black people that grew up without a lot of money, and mm -hmm. and they always looked at you know they always thought oh if I just make money and be and, and I get rich I'll be everything will be fine right. and. I think what it showed a lot of people who didn't know, I was, I, I am not going to claim to be one of those people. I was quite fortunate that my parents were both highly educated and, and made a, a significant amount of money. So I grew up in a nice place, but. Well, I did. I, knew, huh? I didn't. I did. <laughs> well, I knew that with what they, a lot of the things they were experiencing. And I thought that it was very cool. They were showing like, yes, you can grow up and you can become a lawyer or a business person or whatever and go and live in Beverly Hills and go to a private school, but you still have to deal with all this racism. And I thought it was interesting how by Will coming in there and, and having his cousin there that he was pointing out that he was actually pointing out some things to his cousin that he didn't realize. I mean, there's things that I forgot his, his character's name, Alfonso Rivera's uh, character's name now, uh, Carl, Carl Carlton. Carlton. How, how can you? How can you I not know. remember oh, I that? Dance, and, then I, and, then, and then I thought of it. <laughs> what the hell, man? You want no Fresh Prince of Bel Air? You, I, I would expect you 
with your background to for sure be into the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> so, you know, I was I was thinking I was like there were times I remember watching that show where Will was pointing things out that were racist to, mm -hmm. you know, to uh, Carlton and Carlton just didn't see it that way at first. Yep. And then later he realized that Will was right. And I thought that was great because there's a lot of people that grew up thinking, oh, if I just make a lot of money, I don't have to deal with this stuff anymore. And that's just simply not America. I nope. mean, as long as you're black, as long as you're a person of color in America, you know, you're dealing with that stuff until we can get rid of this 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 racist infrastructure that we have. But I mean, that's a whole other subject. But I just thought that the show was really important in that way. Yeah. And, and, and but not just that, we can sit here and go on and on and on about some of the groundbreaking moments. But for me, they definitely need to try to reconcile as best as possible with the original Aunt Viv, and hopefully we can have a really, really good reunion show with James Avery looking down old Uncle Phil to really smile and say, hey, we've done something good. And while we're talking about it, ladies and gentlemen, Jada Pinkett Smith in production, Will Smith Production House is going to be rebooting The Fresh Prince. Now, mm. I know that tensions with Jada and um, the original Aunt Vi are worse than what they are with Will. So having said that, she might not be there, but that's who's doing the reboot. I don't see how you reboot the show, but hell, I've been wrong before. Right. So Yeah. Someone said, Chris P says versus with old Aunt Viv versus new Aunt Viv. <laughs> I like that. We, get, we could get a versus battle right there on stage Ooh. in the reunion. Old Aunt Viv oh. versus new Aunt Viv. Now, I wonder, are they going to have baby Nikki come up there? I didn't see anything about oh, baby no. Nikki. Everybody else I've saw, but I didn't see anything about baby Nikki. So maybe he'll come. Um, I re One of my favorite episodes, ladies and gentlemen, that they ingratiated me to was when they introduced boys to men singing Let It Snow when Will was trying to have something extra for Nikki's christening. That mm. was when I first got introduced to boys and men. They've been my favorite mm. R&B group forever since then. So thank you, Will yeah. Smith. You turned me on to a little bit of culture. Yeah, brothers from Philly. Hey, man. You know? That's what it is. Someone, now, uh, ladies, go ahead. someone said Hillary with jazz. Now, that would be a good storyline to have those two either have come back and they're hooked up and married or to come back and all of a sudden now jazz is something that Hillary's interested in and, and they end up hooking up. That would actually be kind of cool. Yeah. And so, somebody in the comment section said, red table time. <laughs> Man, that that red table, I would get red with some fluid if you get her <laughs> sitting across from Jada Pinkett Smith. Man, because, I oh. mean, the, like I said, that video I just showed you guys is about four or five years old. And right. ha it hasn't been much tension, much ground made since then. So we'll just have to see. But no, but you know, it's funny when you that video that they showed, I feel her on that where they talk about, you know, she's up there talking about you don't ask people to, to boycott something because you didn't get nominated. That's bogus. I think what happens is that there's a time that you may start to ask, we may start to ask people to boycott when you go through a whole Oscar season and there's no black people nominated. If that happens one season, then you're like, okay, this is bogus. We've had some really great films made where black people were the leads or the, or they were, or they were the, the, you know, you know, supporting they or they should have, they should have at the very least have been nominated. When you, when you go through a season or two or three like that, the first season, no second season, you might start saying, okay, you know what? This is bogus. Let's look at the competition that's out there. Is it, are those, are those movies so good that maybe these ones that we were in just couldn't get, uh, couldn't get lifted up. But by the third season that in a row where you start to see, oh, this is crazy. We're making great movies and people should have been nominated and it's just not happening. That's when you start talking about boycotting. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, Will Smith, fix it. Let's get both Aunt Vi's up there and make this thing happen.